Thank you very much, Nacha. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, can you all hear me? Yes. Um, Nacha, is it all right for me to share screen? Uh, yes, I can stop sharing this. Are you able to? Um, are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can. It's, yeah, okay. Um, so a very good morning to all of you again. Um, certainly, I'm very privileged that uh, Nacha um, asked me um, to share some thoughts about um, education in a changing norm. I thought since we are talking about a changing norm, it has to be something that we are all grappling with now. Um, in fact, we are living a reality um, where you know um, things could change on a day by day basis, and um, and that's also related to how we see education going forward. Um, so what I'd like to do today is just to share my personal thinking in this direction. And I thought um, very hard, but I'm just thinking that maybe I should pretend that I'm a student. Um, um, so you wanted to, this student would be at this point in time be defined as a cohort uh, called Gen Z. And um, I would like to think um, how, you know, they would like to learn uh, if they were to join SUTD. So that will be the way I'm thinking about this uh, particular uh, presentation. So of course, um, it'll be good to think about it in three ways. Um, one would be to think about the needs of Gen Z. I mean, um, this is something that I took off the web. Uh, it was actually cited in the World Economic Forum, um, how Gen Z um, thinks about uh, education and how they think about their role in the world. Um, secondly, um, which I'll present shortly, I'll think about uh, what SUTD has to offer. I think Prof Chong um, uh, has been teaching me a lot because as what Nacha says, Prof Chong is the uh, uh, provost, that the first provost um, since the inception of this institution. And so um, it'll be good that you all heard about his um, views about what SUTD to be offered. And I think the first question is um, certainly not just what SUTD has to offer, but would it continue to stay relevant is an important question since we are talking about changing norms. And of course, the third one is that uh, what, what is changing? Uh, that goes to the heart of the keyword of the uh, team uh, of um, uh, this uh, pedagogy day. So maybe I start at the first aspect, like just taking a survey that I think you had the time to read while I'm talking what um, Gen Z uh, prefers. This is just a survey, self-perception, mind you. Um, 6,000 Gen Z, this is not, this is not um, uh, so-called um, something that is uh, relevant to Singapore alone. So this is a worldwide survey. And I highlighted some keywords that they're interested in, which are, they would like the more exposure to real life work. Um, I think they are very, uh, they, by the way, Gen Z are digital native, you know. I think they were born with a, with a mobile phone in their hand, you know. So they were playing with it when they were babies even. And, and so this, um, this represents a very interesting cohort. And they also realized that uh, because things are changing, um, they, they, they thought about the importance of professional mentorship to guide them along in their learning and life journey. Um, they're also environmentally conscious. Uh, um, and this is evident. Uh, we have been reading the paper uh, recently about the COP conference. And um, so this is, these are just some of the keywords that I thought would, would put us in the right context about the group of students that um, will be joining us or they have indeed uh, joined us now. I could perhaps uh, go back to the SUTD vision and that was something already described by Prof Chong, but I thought it's worth um, looking at the keywords again. Um, so one very important part of SUTD um, is that besides the uniqueness of our education, um, the students who are training are steep in the fundamentals of mathematics, science, and technology. So these are not students with um, just the soft skills alone, but they have the hard technical skills to work on complex problems. So these two things um, go hand in hand. Um, and because of that design, very strong design uh, flavor of the education, um, uh, our students um, are meant to be creative and entrepreneurial because this would be one um, attribute uh, um, through this uh, design emphasis. 
another uniqueness of the SUTD uh, education, and this is very unique to my understanding, um, is that close to um, close to 22% of the education are actually informed by humanities, arts, and social sciences. Now, this is a very important element because this is the element that can allow them to engage with the world. Um, when we talk about a better world by design, um, you can't get to a better world by design by not thinking about the uh, people, the humans, and um, their needs and their aspiration. So this is just to put into the context what SUTD stands for. Um, I've just uh, talked about this, um, so I will not go deeper, but uh, certainly you could see that the design part is very important. Technology part is very important. We also need to equip our students with life skills that comes about um, already through that design and has uh, exposure and a serving society needs. Um, this is certainly what the university wish to see in our student is um, fundamentally a value-based uh, proposition where the students are there uh, fundamentally, uh, they are driven to contribute to society. Um, so we are not just producing uh, workforces for the economy. So maybe the last part is to look at what is changing because this is certainly important since we can't prepare for the past. And I just throw in a date that, that, that is not too far into the future because that, that will be rather speculative at this point in time. So I just threw in a date like 2030, perhaps a decade from now. And what do we see that, that future SUCD student looking like? Uh, what kind of skill sets and attribute and uh, what kind of um, what kind of motivation and value system they, they will uphold? Uh, of course, they will be embedded uh, in working in jobs and contributing to the future economy. And that itself is also embedded in a larger societal settings. Um, I could see all three parts changing. Although I drew three circles, they're not meant to be so-called um, clear demarcation. I thought these three parts are important because it's, it has some relevance to how we think about the changing norms. And I, because of, I, I told Nacha that um, this is meant to be a very short presentation. So, I just want to focus on three things, uh, but that's the way I see it, and it's my crystal ball. You may have a different crystal ball, um, but but you know we are talking about the future here. One part that has been emphasized by by the team is that the world is changing. I'll talk about that and how we prepare for that, of course. Second thing has been mentioned by Prof Chong, uh, President Chong, and that is digital and AI. I, that is very very obvious. The third part I broadly put it under social responsibility. And uh, one part of it is again very clear. Uh, if you have been following the recent press, and that's dealing with a world that people call it either in um, climate crisis or climate emergency. And we want to play a very big role. We want our students with our community to play a very big role in uh, social responsibility. How do we engage this uh, changing world? Um, what I'd like to mention is that um, we'll be looking at uh, several parts and these parts are already uh, embedded into our entire uh, education philosophy and curriculum, but I, I think these parts can be strengthened. Um, I will not go through it, but um, certainly uh, at this point in time, the curriculum is already deeply engaging the industry. This is important because the industry is changing. You wouldn't want to have an education um, you know, without that kind of deep connection um, so that the industry could contribute to mentoring and guiding our students, not just learning the skill sets relevant to a job place. So we're not talking about vocational training. We are, we are talking about very broad-based um, engagement in the industry. Um, to be able to engage a changing world, um, I think all of us believe that um, education does not stop upon graduation. And so there's a lifelong learning component There'll be skill sets, soft skill sets like agility and resilience, uh, career development and mentorship. Um, this is something that we, we invested heavily in. Um, it's also something that the Gen Z pointed out that um, this is one of the needs uh, that they felt, uh, you know, given the changing future. The last element, which is very important, but I'm not going to talk about it because uh, Prof Pei, the, uh, uh, our associate provost will be talking about it. We call it the Campus X. Uh, simply because we do not know how you will pan out. But it's a very important project because it deals 
it deals with the, that this cyber digital future that we're embedding in. And that doesn't merely changes the job, it changes the whole university and the way we deliver because you know, why, should, why should the digital universe only change um, uh, the job place and it doesn't change the uh, uh, institution for higher learning? So we are now imagining and we hope that you know, our young students, those who are studying with us now, or those who are thinking about joining us, uh, you will come on board this very exciting uh, journey. La. We are, some of you would know that we are located in Ek Sumapa Road, Singapore, excuse me. And um, you, know, um, you could actually find us by keying in the uh, poster code. And of course, the aspiration now is a cyber physical uh, campus, um, then you know, SUTD will not be restricted to the physical locality. And how will you connect? Uh, that will be the question. It is also useful to look at what the existing literature out there talks about uh, how the job place is changing because I did mention that you need to look at the future of jobs because that connects to how we should improve and strengthen our education. You could already tell based on my presentation that um, SUTD is really ahead of its time. There are many things that we are doing that is correct. Uh, whether you call it luck or you call it uh, inspiration or you call it um, uh, uh, a great um, planning. But uh, one thing that's very important, I thought I should stop here to emphasize is that although the future is changing, there are certain things that doesn't change. And I think SUTD since its inception has battered on the right so-called core pillars. Um, so when we talk about changing, we need to change in a very deliberate way. Future of jobs, you all may be aware. La. This is a report published by the World Economic Forum. It's a very thick report. You can download, I won't read it. I just want to quickly mention that if you get hold of this report, you'll notice that the uh, kind of skill sets that are increasing, looking at the deep blue, by the way, these are the increasing skill sets. Um, these are precisely the skill sets that uh, uh, SUTD was set up to develop. Um, not through uh, learning about, let's say problem solving through a module, uh, not through self-management uh, through a module, um, I want to emphasize here, if you have been listening to uh, Prof Chong's uh, introductory remark, this is actually done through activities, peer-to-peer -peer learning, project-based learning, uh, capstone. It's done throughout the entire curriculum. So it's reinforced every single term la, that you are engaging in. And this is how we believe um, uh, skill sets can be, um, uh, can be reinforced and the good, car, good habits can be built up. Um, interestingly, uh, core literacy is declining in uh, importance. Uh, we can debate about that. Is that true or not true? Um, the same kind of report, um, this is a slightly uh, older report, also talk about foundational core literacy, uh, competencies and character qualities. Um, so this is something that again is bare thinking about because the emphasis is gradually loading towards the orange and the blue. And um, we, we are off to a great start. And what we want to do is to reinforce the orange and the blue. And as I already said, um, um, uh, the basic elements are there. Um, I should also mention that uh, SUTD has a very unique um, element, um, which is called the fifth row. Um, some of you have heard about it. Some of you are already enjoying it for our existing students. Um, so actually the students got one day off effectively a week and they are free to use that space uh, to do self-directed learning and to pursue whatever they are passionate about. And um, this fifth row, the way we look at it now will be an excellent um, uh, platform uh, for us to reinforce um, this particular direction towards um, uh, growing uh, sustainability skill sets, capability, and awareness. So there's an example of what I meant that the basic scaffolding, the basic platform is already available. In terms of digital and AI, I took this from a book, uh, AI Superpowers, and they, they think about the kind of skill sets that they felt would be safe. La. So basically these are the skill sets where are human centric. You look at the vertical axis, social, empathy, and the other direction that is very important is creativity. So they are thinking that um, in the near, maybe even midterm, uh, the AIs are not able to replicate these kind of skill sets that easily. And that's the safe zone. 
And um, here's an example of what I meant by um, uh, SUTD being ahead of its time. You have human centricity, you have Haas, creativity in my opinion uh, will be done in a, in a structured and purposeful way through this uh, design uh, competency. So it's not just telling you to be creative, but there's actually a structure, there's a pedagogical pathway to nurture you to be creative. You don't have to be born with it, uh, kind of like black and white, a binary. A new program called Design AI has been, has been, um, has been initiated precisely in this direction. Um, I won't talk about it, but um, certainly we can discuss that if you want to know more about it. This creativity is very important. Again, without me uh, spending more time than what I'm allocated, I'm very happy to announce that uh, all of you would know about International Design Center. That was the center that basically grew this uh, very unique design competency over the past decade. We're going to take it to the next level in the second decade. And we're calling, call it a design Z. Um, the Z stands for get, Z guys. Z guys is a German word for spirit of the time. So we think design is going to be a new spirit of the times. Uh, this is very exciting. Um, and, and just for this reason alone, if I were to be Gen Z, I would join SUTD. Because it's a unique offering, uh, not available elsewhere to my knowledge. Again, there's not enough time to talk about this, um, but uh, one of the speakers could be talking about design. Uh, finally, that's uh, my last slide. Um, going back to the ever-changing world, I, I think um, ultimately education is not just for the sake of education. We want to remember the better world. We really want our students to understand their roles. So at this point in time in your life, you, one of the very important things, in my opinion, when you join a university is that you're given this very valuable time, right? You're not distracted by financial commitments, family, you know, professional jobs. You're actually here as what some people say, uh, to find your bearings. And you want to find the right kind of bearings. And we believe, of course, that we will, we will, be, we will provide that kind of environment that will allow you to, to know your strength and your weaknesses, where you want to go. And we will provide that kind of support investment um, to start um, nurturing you to make positive changes in the community. It can be just nearby. Community could be us. It could be the community in our vicinity, East Coast. It could be the whole Singapore. It could be the world. Uh, we don't really want to define what is the meaning of a better world. It's up to you to define it. And as I said, we will be launching the SUTD sustainability plan shortly. And so there would be a, um, a platform, a structured scaffolding for you to contribute both in education um, and research. I would, I, would, I would stop here because um, I may have um, imposed too much of your time. But if I could, um, if I may, I would go back to this a very nice a vision that has been Again, I, I must admit, you know, I haven't actually shared that with uh, Prof Chong before, but this is actually pretty inspired. Uh, let me explain to all of you. So what is better, right? We are going to head towards a sustainable future. Um, I think it will be, it'll be horrendous if we talk about better and we don't contribute to this. Uh, and we are doing it. So the plan is going to come soon, you know. So coming soon, um, all of you should hold your breath and wait for this exciting plan to unfold. Why is a world? Again, that's coming. And in fact, um, Prof Pei will talk about it in more details. You'll be cyber physical. We'll be the first to engage in this space. We don't know what we're doing, honestly, because it's the future, it's so new. Uh, but we're, uh, SUTD has been a path breaker, right? Trailblazer. We're going we're gonna to be the first to, to walk this path. Um, so this is very exciting. And finally, I did mention, although I did not provide any details, we're going to take design to the next stage, not because it's sexy, not because it is a pure differentiator. I think I've, I've shared with you the future of jobs um, report. I think I've shared with you sufficiently that you need to be creative and innovative. This is not a option now. We used to talk about it as an option in education. In my belief, this is mandatory. Remember the graph I showed you, AI superpower. Uh, you need to be on that creative axis as far to the right as possible. You need to avoid the part where you're just following jobs because of an algorithm, you know, mechanical processing of tasks. I don't think that's a good direction for you to be educated in, uh, if you don't mind my opinion. 
And so this design Z is going to be really, very crucial. And again, um, uh, President has actually uh, committed to these three very strong direction. I thought I put it up this way and that will summarize my talk. Uh, I'll stop here, Nacha. Thank you very much.